Hi Aries, how are you? This is your love reading from the 6th of May until the 12th of May 2020. Yes, and um, we are going to be checking into your energy, your person's energy. We're going to be doing sort of like a past, present and future situation in this reading. I think it's going to be interesting. Um, let me do what I always do, which is call in your guys, spirit guides into my spirit room. Spirit guides for Aries, please come in and show us what it is we need to know with regards to what is going on in Aries' love life. It is a general reading. If it resonates with you, you're going to know. If it doesn't, please check back next week. It, it keeps on changing all the time. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it keeps on telling the same story. It just depends. We don't have control, or I don't have control in this room, which is the spirit room. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> so Aries, um, right now you've been really careful. Um, you got a four of pentacles energy. It's in the reverse position. To say, to say you've been really careful is a little bit of an understatement because four of pentacles is not being careful. Four of pentacles is preparing for the zombie apocalypse. You know what I'm saying? It's like doomsday prepping. Careful. So you're just not going to let anybody in. You're going to be very careful. You're going to go, you know, I, I, I had some bad experiences in the past and I don't want to do that again. So um, I'm going to be very careful. On your person's side, you got a Knight of Cups energy. Um, yeah, somebody is offering you love. Somebody is coming in. I don't know if this is an ex person, but this is something possibly could be an ex because we don't have a page of cups energy. It's a knight of cups. So you guys could have a little bit of history with each other. So this could be somebody coming in offering you love. So this is interesting. What are you going to do, Aries? Let's look at the past energy. I think past energy is going to like be able to tell us exactly is this like a new connection or an older connection? Because that is the energy that's going to be able to show us like more of a history. Is your history one-sided? If it's one-sided, then it's a completely new person. Aha. So let's start having a look. Four of Wands. Let's get one more, two more out, Spirit Guide. Why not? And then make me see the Eight of Wands. Mm. And the High Priestess. I've seen it already, so I have to take it. Um, <laughs> trusting intuition, past energy. This is interesting. Um, four of Wands. No, this is a new person. Yeah. This is somebody new. Um, this is somebody new. Yeah. This is somebody new. This, I don't feel like there's a history here at all. Uh, this is Four of Wands. I mean, that talks about bringing in new people into your world. That is opening up the doors. Look at that. You've got a Four of Pentacles reverse energy. And then you've got another Four in the upright position, four of ones, and then next to it, you got an eight. So this is interesting. Two fours make an eight. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? So it's like, um, I think you've opened up to somebody new, even though you are so paranoid about doing so, and almost like you don't know if this is really going to work. Um, but you, I feel like this is new, completely new. Um, you may not be exactly sure if you trust this connection with this new person, because you you got the high priestess there. So the high priestess is totally relying on the unknown. And I can see that with the four of pentacles. If you got that kind of energy where you're so defensive, where you're really not sure if you can trust this person, if you can move forward with them, if you want to do a relationship, if this will even work out, and then you got a high priestess, that is trusting intuition. That is like really feeling the vibes. You might even actually have quite a good connection with this person and have an attraction towards them. And that's again the high priestess energy coming in where it is actually saying, it's my feeling that is drawing me forward, not my brain. Oh boy, brain, where did you go? Oh no. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the thing. When we start falling for somebody or somebody new comes in, our brain goes away. Somewhere, I don't know where, does it go into a coma? Something funny like that happens. But this is kind of like the energy that I'm looking at. Um, you got an eight of wands right in the center of these three cards. So I feel like this is like so new, hey? And this Knight of Cups, male or female, whoever this is, came in very quickly into your life um, with the four of wands energy being there. They make you feel really good. They 
bring this light energy when they come in. It's almost like this feeling, you know, of good vibes. There's a good vibe going on here in when you met this person or even if you just met them. Very good vibe. Um, I still feel like there's this feeling of people getting together. Like it could be, you know, this person through friends or through work or even family. Somebody in the family came, like your brother came with his friend from university kind of weird situation and you met this person and this can this person offered this knight of cups very quickly to you it could have also been the reason why you're just going whoa, whoa, whoa this is happening so fast wait, wait 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 i'm not sure but there's a very good energy very good vibe going on that is what causes this this beautiful high priestess energy to come out it's like trust your intuition just trust your intuition. And I think you're doing that. I think you're just going with the vibes here. So let's have a look and see. We're going to get out some cards that represent kind of like... I actually don't feel like this is very old, hey? I feel like this is a new connection. Um, got a very good positive vibe to it, though. I wonder what right now is going on with you and this person at this exact moment. Like if this was last week or the weekend, this is, you know... Monday. <laughs> I feel like this is quite new. I honestly do. Okay, where will we put present? Okay, we're going to put the energy for, and let's get a clarifier on this card as well. This is going to be present energy, and they have given us a clarifier. Aha. Uh -huh. I am going to take the card as it fell. It did fall in this position. I was looking at it like this. It's all about pentacles all about pentacles there comes the insecurity right in right there can you see all those cards oh uh, yeah you can okay so boy oh boy you guys you are kind of like each other's counterpart hey you kind of like got a matching energy um I almost feel like this is you and them because you've got a queen of pentacles you've got a knight of pentacles energy and this is a knight as well there might be a little bit of insecurity going on here at present time because you also got a ten of pentacles as well there could be more interference from outside here um, it could be because of the fact that if you have met this person through a group of other people or you with this person always with other people being around that can cause a little bit of insecurity you may actually have a bit of trust issues with the four of pentacles being there with the queen of pentacles energy as well um, I feel like this is your energy. Um, I think there's been something that happened. There could have been a past issue with you where you actually may have been cheated on. And you kind of like really worried like this Knight of Cups, this Knight of Cups, can he do what he is supposed to do with me, male or female? Is, are they going to actually be okay with me in the long run? That's, the, that's what I'm looking at when I see the Queen of Pentacles, especially with the Four of Pentacles there. Um, you might be overly suspicious as well, wondering about the future, about this person. When you do this, by the way, you actually bring this Knight of Cups, the, the offer that has coming in, and this person is still offering, okay? It kind of makes them feel insecure. It makes them get panicked, by the way, because they get into this Knight of Pentacles reverse energy over here. It's almost like this Knight of Cups comes in, when this kind of like insecurity comes in, like what I'm looking at here, like not being sure, even though you guys have got an amazing vibe with each other, there's this feeling of insecureness. So it's almost like, even though we got this connection, we got this whole thing going, um, or am I gonna be okay? So when that energy enters into this connection, this Knight of Pentacles, who is the Knight of Cups, comes along. And they're in the reverse position. Uh, they get a bit desperate. They get a bit desperate. They, I don't think they're too sure um, themselves when this happens. Do they want to continue offering? Are they going to pull out their energy? Do they remain? That's that. It's like the, there's an insecurity here that's kind of like causing a little glitch in this connection, which is actually really good, by the way. It is actually really good. Um, if this is an ex person, then you may have an actual extreme valid reason to feel that four of pentacles up there because this person may have themselves even cheated on you in the past. 
So let's look at some future energy here. What do we have? Right now, I feel like there's a bit of insecurity going on here. No, no, I'm lying. Not a bit, a lot of insecurity. Three pentacles. All of them are in the reverse energy with your four of pentacles. I feel like you feel this insecurity with this person. Um, you may be worried about the future with them. This is interesting. They do have love for you though. Uh, future, let's see. Strength card reversed. Hmm. Aha, Ten of Wands reversed as well. So much reverse energy. Uh, let's see. Okay, I know it's that one. Let's have a look. We're also going to get your spirit guide message out. Um, so you guys, I'll tell you what, hey, you you will go forward in the future. There's no way you're pulling out of the situation. There is a strength card, there is a ten of wands, but there is a fool card right in the middle of all of this. And I'm not surprised. The fool card, um, sometimes it... it even though High Priestess, you know, that is a card of true intuition, trusting your intuition, trusting what your heart is telling you. If you pair it with a Fool card, it's almost like I know sometimes I might get a bit of an off vibe or I might be scared to do something, but you know, we're doing it anyway. I'm doing this anyway. I'm going to go forward with this connection anyway. It's almost like I can't stop it from happening. Um, it's very quick moving energy, this. It's, if you guys, if this is an ex person, it's like the ex-person um, comes back in so quickly and it's like you pick up, pick up exactly where you left off. You don't even, you can't even put the brakes on. It just picks up within a moment. Very quick energy. Very, and I'm not even sure exactly how this is going to go. There has been, there has been stress in this connection, by the way. Um, there's kind of like an, there's this insecurity as well, again in the strength card, reverse. It is like, how do I move forward? Hmm. There's almost like somebody putting the brakes on, somebody trying to rethink about the direction that they're going to take. Uh, there is worries as well. There's a huge responsibility in the Ten of Wands being there. This is insecure again. I'm just looking at this. I'm just looking at all of this here. This is just insecure. This relationship is just insecure. There is love there, yes. This person does want to offer this to you. But you need to get, you need to get, it's like you need to get some serious reassurance from this person. Absolutely. Because look at the strength card with the four of pentacles. This is somebody needing to get some serious, you know, walk your talk kind of information with the high priestess. The high priestess is not just going to listen they want to see the truth behind everything. Yes, you guys will move forward. But if reassurance is not given, if this is still there, um, I, I just think you will want to hold back. I don't think it's going to be easy to be able to move forward if this person doesn't give you 100% reassurance. Um, the future energy, this is good, guys. you got a 10 of wands there. you got a full card. I feel like it's going forward no matter what insecurities are showing on this table. Um you're going to want to get this almost like promises made from this person. You better make, is this, it's like lay this down on the table. What exactly is going on with us? This can't just be a physical connection. It can't just be passion. It's got to be more than that. Uh, it's a good thing showing in the future. Yeah, Strength card, reverse, full card, ten of wands, reverse energy. Uh, that is... The stress that this that we're looking at, you see the stress that's not here, not in the beginning, no, what is happening here, that's actually going to lift, right? This is going to lift up, this is the strain subsiding, this is actually when you start to feel a little bit more content. So whatever weight was being carried here, it is going to get put down and it is going to move forward. Almost move forward like in a way of, I know I want the 100% reassurance, but you know, no matter what someone says to you, they can promise you on their hands and knees, right, to be with you. Um, and you can never really have 100% reassurance. Never. And that is the energy of the full card being there. It's like even though this person can promise me heaven and earth, right, but at the end of the day, I'll never really truly know. And I'm going to have to take that chance and move forward with this anyway. It will subside. I feel like it is going to be better. This is future energy. That is Ten of Wands energy. Thank goodness. It is not um, swords. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is actually less stress than what we're looking at here. 
So whatever is happening now, this is going to shift away. A lot of reassurance needs to happen here. A lot of promises that let's hope do not get broken. Ooh, ooh, I am asking for spirit guide message and they have thrown a card and we're going to pick it up as we see it. Look at this. Ace of Swords. OMG. Yeah, you guys, I think you'll be fine here. Hey? You got an Ace of Swords energy. This is very good. This is not easy to achieve success here with the Ace of Swords. Spirit Guide is like, this is not an easy thing to achieve. It's, it's hard now because you've got these three pentacles in the reverse energy and you carry the four of pentacles. But this is when you win. This is when you win the game. This is when you've succeeded. This is when you've achieved your goal of what you want to achieve. And it kind of goes with this. Kind of goes with this card. Because this is where after the battle, you know, this is when you're carrying all of those strains and stresses and worries. And when it is in the reverse energy, you, you're going to put it down now. It's done. So you're putting, this, you're putting it down. And that's kind of like that. Look at this person. This person put down their sword. Put down their, their, their armor, their mask. And just lay down and said, oh, finally we're back on track. Finally I can take a sigh of relief. And, you know, this, this person might actually even... I don't see a sign of it here, but there's a reason for you to celebrate. Um, I'm just thinking, why would somebody celebrate? What would lead you to be secure in the strength card? Would it be a ring? <laughs> would it be somebody moving in with you? Would it be an announcement to the world that you guys are together? Something, something here makes you feel um, happy. And content and you know it's been quite tough but you got it right that's the same energy that's coming through here so there is something this person's gonna do they're gonna actually inside there's something that they're gonna offer you that's gonna bring out this ace of swords energy which is very good you're gonna succeed in getting this right I think right now even though you just it's like you're not sure with the four of pentacles even if this is a new person or it's an old person coming in it's like you're trusting totally trusting your intuition and the intuition, it's not a set thing. You know, we don't have proof of it. It's just the inner knowing. And the inner knowing is this full card. I know I don't 100% know where this is going, but I'm going anyway. Um, it's, it's maybe, it's, it's, it's interesting that it comes out like this with all the pentacles being reversed. Because that's, that's full card reversed. You know, when you're going somewhere and all the pentacles are reversed, but you're doing it anyway full card reverse but there is an outcome that is very positive very positive this is you succeeding in what it is you actually start out to do it's almost like the promises that get made here with the knight of cups actually gets made and actually moves forward this is very good Aries I have to say a um, little bit of a rocky situation now but it's going to shift away it is going to shift away this connection is it's good though. It's a good connection. Trust your intuition. Thank you for watching Aries. I hope this helps you. I hope this is your reading as well. Sending you my light and love. Bye.